Welcome everyone to the part 3 of video which solves problem number 2 from the chapter number 6 bending the chapter from mechanics of materials book by R.C. Hibbler. In this third part of the solution to problem number 6.2 we are going to draw the bending moment diagram for the loading conditions shown here so this is what we have got from our previous uh, calculations that we have done so far so let's start drawing the bending moment diagram for the loading condition shown here so we will determine the bending moment at key locations those key locations include uh, this point later we shift to this point and at the end at this point so let's determine the bending moment uh, at this point which is 2.4 meter away from the left hand side so let's name these points let's name this as b and c so bending moment at point b will be calculated as now you have to keep things uh, in mind that uh, sometime when we are calculating the bending moment let's say if at this point so then if we are on the left hand side if we are doing calculations on the left hand side for that usually what we do when it's uh, anti-clockwise then we consider those as a negative so on this side there is only one triangular force so this triangular force is uh, downward directed and uh, and it will rotate uh, in anti-clockwise direction at point B hence I write as in a negative so first of all we should know the force and then uh, we should determine uh, its momentum so the force will be half multiplied by the density of the load which is 3.75 and the length which is 2.4 so this will be the intensity of the load and this will act at a at the distance of 1 by 3 from the maximum intensity side so this will be actually the distance so this will be 1 by 3 it means around 0.8 meter not around but actually 1.8 meter so moment arm will actually be then 0.8 meter so simply multiply 0.8 so as a result of that we are going to have a bending moment at point B as negative 3.6 kilonewton meter so uh, downward side now this uh, degree uh, now the variation of bending moment on this side will be actually a 3 degree curve is actually a 3 degree curve and from here I mean the distance from center line to this point is actually negative 3.6 why I said 3 degree curve this because if we are considering any cross section of X and then we are going to determine that like we did for the shear force so as a result of that you are going to get a cubic equation so that cubic equation will have a cubic curve or a 3 degree curve after that we are going to have bending moment at point C for that again we are going to take on this side so in a similar way we will have uh, all the negative moments caused by the triangular force first and then there will be one caused by the point load and at the end we will have one caused by this trapezoidal load so let's deal one by one the same triangular force uh, this will have a moment arm of uh, 0.8 plus 0.6 means 1.4 later because of 15 kN force will have a moment arm of 0.6 all those are having anti-clockwise movements that's why I'm putting negative in front of them and uh, one that is being caused by this triangular force not the triangular but the, the trapezoidal but that trapezoidal will be converted into two portions one by triangular this small triangular and the other by this rectangle one uh, the rectangle one is quite easy like 3.75 is the density which is distributed until 0.6 and it will be acting at the mid so 0.3 but uh, how about the triangular one for triangular one we need to know the intensity of uh, the triangular load here 
for that uh, you should be using a similar triangle concept and that concept is uh, we know the intensity up to the end which is I think around 2.225 that's this intensity so this uh, 2.25 divided by the horizontal distance which is 1.5 but uh, that should be equal to this intensity of our interest let's say the intensity is point x this should be divided with point x point 6 actually sorry so from here you will have uh, x as so the intensity would be around point 0.9 not around exactly point 0.9 kilo newton per meter hence we can write half 0.9 multiplied by 0.6 now that will be acting at the 1 by 3 of 0.6 which will be 0.2 so if you are going to solve this we are going to get the value as minus 16 kilo newton meter this will be exactly at point C or here the variability will be in the form of a curvature let's see something like this so this is uh, minus 16 actually now the last key point is the a point so this should be over here for that we don't need to calculate that but uh, it's better to calculate because that should be equal to 29.6 so bending moment at point a would be equal to the same triangular force starting from the same triangular force how 3.75 spreading up to 2.4 now the distance would be 1.5 plus 0.8 means 2.3 the 15 kilo newton will have momentum of 1.5 because the distance from b to a is 1.5 negative because anti-clockwise now after that we can have a clockwise moment which, which should be positive and that sh this should be caused by the 75 kilo newton force and have a distance of 0.9 meter and uh, again the trapezoidal load should be converted to rectangular first so 3.75 multiplied by 1.5 should be acting at distance of 0.75 half of 1.5 somewhere over here and the last one the trapeze and the triangular one which should be half uh, 2.25 spreading at a distance of 1.5 and acting at 1 by 3 of 1.5 that will be 0.5 and when you're going to solve this uh, you probably going to get the same 29.6 but keep in mind it's not negative it's positive so 29.6 should be somewhere over here and this should be connected and again is a curvature so this was point B this was point C and this is the point A that has an a magnitude of 29.6 so this is how the calculations for bending moment diagram to be done for this kind of example so that's all from this video thank you for watching this video i hope you have now an understanding how the bending moment diagram is to be drawn for this kind of case what i did in uh, shear force diagram i actually determined the equation for each of the portion and then I put the value of the maximum uh, distance for that particular portion and then I calculated that uh, value that's that's also possible for bending moment uh, diagram as well but the calculation should be very very complex that's why I didn't went for that I made it simple for you guys so that you can uh, get it easily what it's actually the thing that you need to understand is about the variability of the bending moment the key points in the bending moment so that's what we have did here so that's all from this video thank you for watching this video i hope to see you next coming videos till then bye